What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of David's Saturday Night Sit Back. Tonight, I am overjoyed to have Olivia Tovar in the studio with me. She's an actress here in Austin, Texas. Olivia's work include pieces like World Domination that was featured at the Powdered Cade Productions Film Festival right before the onset of the pandemic in 2020. Um, and she's also done short for films, excuse me, on YouTube, such as Thirst, and most recently was in Zach Bryan's music video, Nine Ball, in which she got to work with Matthew McConaughey, Ty Sheridan, and Scott Shepard. Because I'm a huge Agatha Christie fan, I also need to shout out that Olivia was in Appointment with Death, along with being the lead actress in 17 other projects and supporting actress in eight other films. She co-hosts four projects, has been in two TV shows, and been in 30 theater productions. Her work in Changing Tides was featured at many festivals, such as the El Paso Film, Flatland Film, Hill Country Film, and the Austin Spotlight Film Festival, where it won Best Narrative. Along with these features, she was nominated for Best Actress at the Austin Spotlight Film Festival. Olivia is a student at the University of Texas at Austin. In addition to all of these projects she's working on, she has multiple jobs, so I'm super grateful that you took some time to stop by the studio tonight. Olivia, welcome to your episode of Day. David Saturday night sit back. Hey. <laughs> How are you? My voice, I'm a completely different person. <laughs> My personality completely changes. Hey. You're like uh, that guy in Split. Huh? Dated the reference. The <laughs> stuck under a decade old. Mm. <laughs> Is it for real? It's the movie about the guy with 14 personality or something like that. No, but I should have been cast in that movie. Now you that it, now that I think about it. <laughs> Janky ass set. Jank, hey, janky ass. Let's. We're gonna start over. No, we're not starting. First, over. you stumble over my bio, and then your set's falling apart. Well, that's crazy to it's me. It's like I told you with the. Uh, hang on. I'll keep. I'll keep you guys entertained while this happens. That was a joke. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna sing a song. <clears throat> Ooh, ran out of songs. Yep, ran out of songs in my head. Hello. All right. Can hey, you guys. Hear me? Yeah. All right. That was the best start to a podcast ever. Oh, dude, I know. And I missed my chance to become a world renowned singer because I couldn't think of the song. Hmm. What have you been listening to lately? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how you're gonna do this podcast. <laughs> Half my questions are just gonna be, gonna... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you, have, All you... you also have like more information in the what do you not want to talk about box than any guest ever. You... you were like 17 items deep. It's like holy what? canceled. <laughs> I think it's really funny that I came into this podcast to help you out, and all you've done is insult me. <laughs> All you've done is insult me, stumble over my bio, and your entire set is falling apart. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Ooh. All um, right. Yeah, I'm just going to say pass to most questions, honestly. Are you happy? If, if I think they're boring. Right now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I'm just going to say right now. <laughs> are you tearing up? Are you crying? I am. <laughs> Tears of joy. Mm. Yes, I'm happy. Uh, like cool. right now in this moment or in my life? In life. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> uh, cut that. Um, <laughs> um, sorry, guys. We were laughing before the podcast started, so it wasn't. She had just like walked through the door 30 seconds ago. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know this man. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, am I happy in life? That's a really good question. That's a really good question and no. I think that, I think that yes and no. You know, <laughs> pass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you know. <laughs> okay, for real. When I live my life every day, I have that... <coughs> Excuse you. I have this, <laughs> I've been coughing this whole time. I have this thing that uh, I've always had that I just never feel like I'm doing enough. So I just feel like every day I wake up and I'm just like, oh my God, like I haven't done anything in my life. And then you read my bio and I wrote my bio earlier. I wrote a separate better bio, everyone. You, you can read that down below. <laughs> I don't know where they can read it. Um, anyways, um, and I was writing it and I was like, oh, maybe I'm okay. Maybe I'm doing okay. 
because I was like listing like stuff and I was like oh I, I remember that I did this and this too and this too um but I think that my like feeling that like I'm not doing good enough is definitely preventing some of that like joy because I don't celebrate anything hmm. I just like book something or like do something really cool and then I'm like okay next um but I wish that I wish that I would celebrate right a little bit more am I happy rn yes this is really fun so far rn is in registered nurses yes that is exactly what I meant how did you know <laughs> rn is in right now for gotcha. all the oldies listening including david <laughs> including david <laughs> next question <laughs> Can we talk about Nine Ball? Yeah. <laughs> I th thought that'd be a no, fun No, yeah, let's talk about it. If, about how I starred in it? Yeah, you did. You know what's funny is when I went to watch it, I was like, all right, all right. laser focused. I put away the phone. Because you said on the phone, you were like, I only got two seconds. So I was like, this I, is true. I'm probably going to miss her because I don't even know what she looks like. Yeah. I saw your photos, obviously. But, so I'm watching it. But then, no, it was a very clear like couple of seconds. Which I know. You were the only person on the screen. I know. I was, because, and you want to know something? As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that could have so easily been cut. I'm so happy that they kept it in. Because um, I didn't think I was going to make the cut. And Here, then I did. Here's a hot take. You sh I shouldn't have made the cut? That's no, the hot take? No. no. <laughs> the hot take, Olivia, you shouldn't have been cast. <laughs> I no, agree. You did great. That was that was perfect. Here's the hot take. Tell it to me, David. You weren't looking at the boy. <gasps> I was looking at the camera. I was flirting with the camera. I mean, you you could it could have been like the one of the guys that started the fight. You you could have been looking at the bartender. You could have been looking out the window. Like it made a very heavy in, in, implication. Implication. This is true. This is very true. Because a lot of people asked me, because I was like, oh, I was just, I don't, I don't tell people things. And so, like, I was worried about coming on tonight because I'm like, oh, I, because as you so lovingly made fun of me for, there's a lot that I don't <laughs> like to talk about just because I'm like, this is my life. And I feel weird being like, oh, and this and this and this. Um, so, so yes, I listed 200 things over the things that I couldn't talk about. But um, when it comes to nine ball, I don't like telling people that I did it because I always feel like uncomfortable telling people that I did it. Um, and luckily I have the best friends in the whole world who just like hate on me so hard. So I like tell them like, oh, I just did this thing. And they go, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they do like, okay, but it's like funny. But it's like loving. And I love them. <laughs> shout out. Um, uh, Anyone we're, we're about to name drop here? Shout out like Michaela. I'm not, na I'm not name dropping anybody. All right. And I'm going to show them this clip, too. All right. Shalom, Carla. Love you guys. Um, <laughs> How does one get in a Zach Bryan music video? Couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. What happened was that I was sitting. It was at Shalom's house, who's one of my best friends. Um, I was at Shalom's house, and we were, like, doing nothing. I don't even remember what we were doing. And all of a sudden, I get an email from my agent, and they're like, hey, um, are you in? Are you available in Austin tomorrow? And I said, Yeah. And they said, there's this music video. It's rumored that McConaughey is cast, so who knows? Um, and I was like, okay. And they were like, okay, submit like a short slate. And a slate is just like a, hi, my name is Olivia. And then it's a full body shot where I'm like, profile, profile, like a mug shot type. Mm. Um, <laughs> so I did that. I sent it off. And then they like got back to me and they were like, okay, thank you. And so then for like, Three hours, I was just like waiting. And again, I don't like to tell people about things. So I didn't tell Shalom that like this was an opportunity. I was just like sitting there like the whole time, like just like so tense because I was like, oh my God, I'm Matthew McConaughey. I might be in something with Matthew McConaughey. And then they got back to me at like 10 p.m. And they were like, you're in. And they were like, it's shooting tomorrow. And I was like, that's fantastic. Um, so then I told my friends and they were super excited for me. But if you told me to like write out a step-by-step -step of how I did it, I could not tell you. So I just got really lucky. I'm going to lower this just a little bit, but, but then we can move it because I want to be able to see your face. Oh, yeah. Um, Aww. You just get an agent. That's yeah, just get an agent and just make Zach Bryan film a music video near you, and then you can get into it. Are you allowed to say where it was? Yes, the, the location is very clearly in the music video. It's Sagebrush, which... Not sponsored, everyone. Um, but Sagebrush is like a bar here in Austin. So I, one of the things I really liked about the video was all the lights. 
I'm a child. And I was like, oh, my God, look at all the blinky lights. <laughs> they had a lot of blinky lights. <laughs> yeah. This is true information. Okay, listen. So the blinky That's lights fresh. are from, and I hate this because I can never pronounce their name right, but this is another shout out, everyone. Um, the Cummerl twins. Cummerl. Uh, K-U-M-M-E-R-L. Fantastic, uh, like production design twins from UT. I've worked with them a couple times before. I worked with them on like a Planet Fitness ad, um, and then I knew them at UT, and then I worked with them again. But they set up all those lights that are above the bar, set up by them. Like it wasn't the bars. They came in oh, and they made that place. Well, pretty. I don't want to go now. <laughs> so, so, I'm, I'm sorry, I, Sagebrush. <laughs> you just lost business again. I mean, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna go just so I can cross that, check that box off. You know, that but, you were in a place where Matthew McConaughey was, or what? No, that I was in a place where Olivia Tovar was. And I knew you were gonna say that. And I knew you were gonna say that. That's funny. Did you get to interact with anyone? Like anyone on set, or did they keep me in a cage? What are you asking? <laughs> Well, I don't know, Matthew, like, yeah, like Matthew or, or Scott or Ty or Zach or... Yes, I did. Okay, so Matthew, me and him were on a first name basis. <laughs> me and Matthew McConaughey um, did not interact. It was kind of like mm. he walked in and it was like, oh, he's the star. And so it was kind of like people just mostly stayed out of the way and like, because there's, actually I have worked with stars I guess but this was one of the first times where it was like he's someone that I've been watching for years mm -hmm. and so seeing him in person was a very weird and very cool experience um he was he seemed super like kind and generous but and I say that based on somebody else's story I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute but um mm -hmm. the thing about him was that he do you remember that Leonardo DiCaprio interview the one about him going, mm -hmm, like that oh, whole yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Leonardo DiCaprio's like, he really does that. Like, that's how he really is. That is how he really is. So he likes to stay like in, in it, in between takes. So it's not like, and also before and after he likes to stay in it. So it's not like you can just go up to him and go, hey. <laughs> You're doing good out there. <laughs> you have to like really leave him alone. I told I told Matthew he was doing a good job. <laughs> I patted Matthew on the back. I said, "Good job, baby." It was wonderful. <laughs> um, so that happened with that. You know what you should have done? It's got about this got his far number. from him oh. and made eye contact and as serious as you you could do. Just. Mm, mm. Do I bet he would have started doing it. You would have been his favorite person in the room. Are you serious? I'm not saying like a like in a mocking. I think he would have been like. Like, I don't know who this person is, but she's like. She's got me. Yeah. Alternative, alternative reality. I think you would have hated me even more. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would have been like, oh, this again. No, he seemed very kind. <laughs> um, anyways, and then Ty Sheridan, who, who played my little boyfriend, who was the guy that I was flirting with. Um, allegedly. Alleged. I was just about to say, <laughs> allegedly implicitly he was the man he was my man um he was really kind we met each other in the dressing room and it was like we got our makeup done together he didn't really get like makeup the way i got makeup um and if you see the video you could tell i got makeup <laughs> you had a little bit on i know they had to cover my acne do i have acne <laughs> this is where you say i don't have acne you don't have acne we'll talk about that in a minute too okay. <laughs> Acne is going to be a whole section of. If you don't have acne, click off. <laughs> <laughs> the only people we've kicked off before are Rhode Islanders. Rhode Islanders also kick off. <laughs> no, Rhode Islanders, you're in. Acne, you're out. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I feel you guys. You guys are my, my my acne siblings. Okay, moving on from my terrible acne. It's not that bad. Check out the video. It's not that bad. Okay, anyways. God. So Ty Sheridan, <laughs> when I was getting my 10 tons of makeup put on, was like next to me and we were like chatting it up. Da, 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 da. He was really awesome. And then Scott Shepard is who I made the most of a connection with. Um, I don't know, we just thought that each other were like the funniest people ever. And so we were laughing it up all day and like, Scott Shepard click off. I didn't know who he was at first. And so I was just like, oh, this guy looks cool. Was, hey. That's <laughs> and, awesome. Yeah, I did not know who he was. Redacted. Scott, I knew who you were. Anyways. Who is he, in case they don't know? Oh, Scott Shepard is an actor, and he was in really famous stuff. He played Leonardo DiCaprio's brother in the 
Academy Award nominated picture, Killers of the Flower Moon. He also had, uh, no spoilers because I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch it tonight or tomorrow night. Uh, he was David in The Last of Us. Um, he's been in a lot of stuff uh, and a bunch of other little things. But yeah, so I didn't know who he was at first. And so I was like, are you Googling him? Scott, he, David didn't know who you were either. Um, so I went up to him and I was just like, hey, and we like chatted up. We had lunch together. It was really awesome. And it was nice. Uh, that connection on set is rare sometimes, like where you're just like, oh, you're really cool and I want to talk to you. Um, Cause there was like a PA on set who I also really, really, really liked. And I was just like, you're awesome. Let's chat. Um, so yeah, I did kind of make friends. Me and Matthew, Matthew did not think I was funny. I didn't try to make a joke. Maybe if I tried, he would have thought it was funny, but yeah. Yeah. Um, was Zach there? He was. But because they don't use like live music and music videos, right? They never no, do, no, no, rarely. No, no, no. Yeah. No. So but the, he had to come supervise. Yes, at some point. So his song was playing, Nine Ball was playing um, over and over again. And I, luckily, the song is good. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <laughs> Did she just insult Zach? Probably. Zach, click off. <laughs> Damn, nobody's going to watch this episode. <laughs> We're clicking off everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, he was, so it was like playing in the background, like kind of as we worked. And then Zach showed up maybe around noon and he was just kind of there. And if you look on his Instagram, he posted pics of like him and Matthew McConaughey. He didn't post any, any pics of me, which I thought was weird. Hmm. They probably, his probably Instagram crashed or something. You know what? Or he posted me and everyone went, who is that? She's ugly. <laughs> no! And they had, to t- they had to take it down. Don't say that. They reported it to Instagram. <laughs> and Instagram took it down. <laughs> Anyways. You want to hear a funny Instagram story that has nothing to do with anything? Of course. There's this couple that went to have sex and allegedly they accidentally kept their Instagram live on. <laughs> <gasps> So, in order to try to shut it down, one of the friends reported her as a... I guess you can report stuff on Instagram, right? Oh, I know. And it didn't actually take the live down. Um, All it did was, like, 24 hours later, after they they realized what happened, Instagram just deleted her account. (laughs) So, her friend tried to do her a favor, and it just got her kicked (laughs) off the platform. I feel like after a move like that, you have to get off the platform. How do you come back from that? Unless you fully embrace it and you're like, did you guys like that? <laughs> That's what they should have done. Post, she posts a poll on her Instagram story. Did you guys <laughs> like that? Yes or no? Should I make more content like that? Yes or no? Yes or no. Or yes. can you do three options? What's the third? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> what is the damn third? I don't know. It's complicated. <laughs> Their answer is complicated? No, like it's we don't know if we want more or not. Mm. <laughs> we can't decide if we were repulsed <laughs> or aroused. aroused yeah. <laughs> I get that. That's a very common feeling. What's your? Uh, I know it's sort of obvious, but I also don't think it's that obvious. What do you think the point of the video was? And what I'm the main thing I'm alluding to is when he walked out with his boy. It's like gets very dark yes. and not happy at all. And I and yes. obviously I get okay. So this is all mostly in his head. What was your take on on what it was about? So, because there was a lot of comments, a lot of mean commenters in the comments. comments. I didn't read them. <laughs> Fuck. You also barely watched my work. Remember when you said it was crappy? Do you remember that? I never said that. I asked her about one of her films, and she was like, "I didn't do that." She forgot <gasps> about her own film. <laughs> Not true. Here's what happened. He brought up, he brought up, so 20, let me paint a picture for you. 2020. I put on this like um, Zoom show. It was cool, guys, relax. It was like the Zoom show and it was about Alcoholics Anonymous and it was like a, com- a comedy show that like turned into like something really sweet. Um, and out of nowhere, David just goes, like an AA meeting. And I go, <laughs> what? Because my first thought is like, no way he knows about that. Because it was some like just thing that I just did that like maybe 100 people watched. And then he goes, yeah, like your thing. And then I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe you watched that. And he goes, yeah, I got through like 25 minutes of it. I said, what? And then you got bored? 
<laughs> and then you said, this isn't funny. That's when I had to move on to your other stuff. Because you were bored. Because you were already sick no. of me. No. <laughs> this is going really well. This is like a a, a, a 411 to all future guests. That, yes, I, <laughs> I do Google you. I do. That yes, he does Google you. And yes, he will get bored of you. And I found out you're not on LinkedIn. Why would I be on LinkedIn? Why not? Casting directors don't look at LinkedIn. Mm. I don't think so. Are you a casting director? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. A, I'm not. Well, what, what I was more thinking of was when I was, do you know who Ben Barnes is? No. Really? Mm-mm. Oh. What, what, what was he in? Uh, the Punisher. Shadow and Bones. I know Shadow and Bones. He's the Darkling. Or the the bad guy. Yes. Okay. Ben Barnes. Okay. Okay. I was trying to get him on the show. I'm shooting for the stars this year. Whoa. And I was like, if you never ask, they're never going to say yes. Yeah. So I found him on Instagram, shot him a DM. I was looking for him all over the place. Yeah. But I was looking for him on LinkedIn, and I did not find him. But I did find another guy who lives in Austin, who named is Ben Barnes, who has a book. And I was like, I haven't had an author on the show. You want to come oh. on? So I got fake Ben. No, if it, we've already recorded. So oh. even if he doesn't like that comment, it doesn't like, matter. We have the content. Mine now. <laughs> I did sign away my my that rights. That shit is locked away. <laughs> um, but, I'm, your, uh, I'm your last lamo before you shoot for the stars. That's what you're saying. No, oh, I hate this. The self-deprecating humor. It's not a joke. <laughs> All right, well, that means should wait. We can't get into your we stuff. We need to take yet, a break. We don't know who you Why? are. Why? Oh. We got to ease into it. Okay. Who are you? I'm Olivia. Next question. <laughs> Cass. You grew up in Houston. Yes, I grew up in Houston. Uh, I moved to Austin in, I'm not going to say a year because I don't remember. Um, but as a little 18 year old, I moved here um, to go to college at the University of Texas at Austin. So I am a student and I'm a double major in acting and then radio, television, film. So just kind of all over the media sphere. But when people ask what my major is, I'll say radio, television, film. Because if I say acting, they go, oh, that's, that's great. And then it's just like an awkward explanation of like, no, I, I do things though. Like I, I do some things. Um, so I normally start with like, oh yeah, RTF, you know, like Matthew McConaughey's program or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> don't grab your coffee ask another question <laughs> what was growing up in houston like um it was nice i think that <laughs> it was nice <laughs> i have a funny thing i heard from an uber driver are you ready for this yeah he said that um people in austin talk shit about people in dallas people in dallas talk shit about austin both Austin and Dallas talk shit about San Antonio, oh. and no one says anything about Houston. Probably because they're scared. <laughs> <laughs> of what? Of the Probably, if there's anything to be scared about Houston about, it's the driving, the drivers. Ugh. <laughs> I know, this is, what, this is what I always tell my parents, I know that I'm in Houston as soon as someone cuts me off and almost makes me get into a wreck. Then I'm like, mm. oh, literally, and that's not a joke. That every time I drive into Houston, I almost die. So it's like a tie between do I want to see my family? Am I okay taking the risk of death? Yes. <laughs> and I decide every time. Yes. It's really scary over there because people are just aggressive. Yeah. For no reason. It's ridiculous. When I go back to California to go home, it's like, do I want to see my family or go get some weed? <laughs> are there any cops watching the podcast? Probably. Cops click off. Cops, click off. I'm in California. It's legal out there. <laughs> Get off my back. But it's not legal here. Go stop Cops. Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who that is? Who? Mm, who? Irrelevant. Don't know. Okay. Um, mm. Do you have any siblings? I do. Um, I have a little sister and a little brother. Um, and they're very cute and they're the loves of my life and they're my babies. Nice. Yeah. How close or far are you guys in age? Um, My little sister... Oh. It's weird because they're a certain age, but in my head, they're all like much younger than they are. Um, so like my little sister in my head, I'm going to tell you the ages in my head. My little sister's four, I would say. She's 15. And my older brother, he's not older than me, but my the 
middle one is in my head 15 he's 18 is he bigger than you is that why you call it me doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's bigger than me or not pass yes he's bigger than me oh <laughs> whatever because i'm okay hold on let me touch on this because i'm pissed i don't understand why i had to be five two i don't understand that who made that decision god some higher power <laughs> out. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> like at least I could have been five, 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 six. I could have been anything. Five, two. But here's the thing. What's the when thing? you have a dog and you walk him in the forest and you're going under all these branches and you have a your six foot and your low back hurts ducking under those branches is really rough. Mm -mm. You would just be skipping on through that place. Do you want to know what's rough? When my little five two ass is walking through the forest and a kidnapper comes and I'm easily pick upable because I'm five two and not six five. I don't know which one do you think is people tougher? Can run fast, especially through the woods. But I can't run fast and I'm five two. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a taser. Sometimes what? Same, it, a, you're a clearly threat of physical violence. It. Threat of physical violence. <laughs> somebody do something. Somebody help me. So you can what? Make me run faster? No, so I can give you a gift. So you can feel safe when you're walking oh, around. Kid, uh, Sometimes I get the guest sweet. gifts. The last guest got a Funko Pop. You're gonna get and a I taser. And I get a damn taser. <laughs> uh, buy me the. You know the leg. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna butcher this. The leg increase surgery. You don't know that. What do they do? Just like sh hang you they from a pull-up bar? Break your legs. Ow! I know. I apologize. You're not kidding, right now. No, no. This is a real surgery. Okay. And continue. They, okay, I'm gonna get through it fast. And they like stretch out your legs so that you're taller. So that when the surgery is done, you're taller. That should. This whole joke is that that should be what you give me. Um. Next question. Just a gift card to the hospital. Just a, <laughs> just a one hundred thousand dollar medical bill. <laughs> just ten percent off your uh, your your leg break in surgery. That would actually be really nice. It'll save oh me ten thousand dollars. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But I understand the desperation. You yes, you would. There is mm -hmm. a guy the other day at HEB, and um, sometimes those baggers. I don't know if people talk to them much. I talk to the baggers, and this guy was. Oh, that's sweet of you. It's fun. Yeah. It catches them off guard, which is why I really, really do it. Yeah, you should try it. Give them a compliment the next time you're in the check. Mm -hmm. Just find something real quick. You're I like, like your HEB shirt. That red look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you wear it well. Uh, this guy was like <laughs> six, seven. Whoa. And and I asked him, I was like, how do you? Well, I asked him first, I was like, how tall are you? And I look at their name tag too. So I was like, Matthew, how tall, and like, how tall are you? He says six, seven. I was like, how do you like it? And he's like, you know what? I've been six, seven for 18 years, and I'm still bumping my head on doors. <laughs> Matthew, if you're out there, my phone number is 281. <laughs> that is so sweet. He just forgets to duck. Oh. Okay, I'm in love. Yeah, it's pretty Okay, cool. so I've fallen in love. He works that at the Wesley so Kills one if you want to say hi. Okay. Yeah. Matthew, I need, to, I need you to work there 24-7 until I get there. You, could, you can make some door... Some door joke. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I, <laughs> I go up to him. I go, man. If I was if I was six seven, I'd bump my head all the time on doors. <laughs> do you do that, <laughs> Matthew? Do you do that? What's wrong? The what's the sh the the downfall to being five two? Uh, that people make fun of you. That people bully you for it. Who? This girl in my third grade. Really? No, it was first. Why? What'd she say? She said I was short. That's it. Mm -hmm. She's just like you were passing each other in the hallway, and she's like, you're short. Oh, no. We were best friends. Let me tell you the tea. This okay. is so not what I thought I would be talking about. <laughs> Let me tell you about my first grade bully. So she wasn't really a bully. She was my best friend, I thought. And then one day she was just, honestly, like, thinking back on it, she was probably just like, you're a little short. And I was like, no! <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? Um, no. <laughs> The worst, the worst thing is the jokes. Do you remember Shalom and Carla? Yeah. Throwback to 10 minutes ago? Yep. They make fun of me all the time for how short I am. What's one of their jokes? I don't know. Maybe they're not, maybe they're not jokes. Maybe they're real. They just kind of go like, oh, well, thank God I'm this tall. 
We should connect my phone Damn. to the roadcaster and have them call in. Are you serious? We could have a short joke session. Are you dead serious? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically, I w- yes, we could do that. It's, it's, it's within our physical capabilities. Because let me tell you what, they'd hop on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> attention horse. Uh, you like doing that, don't you? Uh, <laughs> do you do that when you're acting? You like do- <laughs> when you get something wrong in Nine Ball and Matthew McConaughey's like, ball. cut, and you're just like, no. uh, <laughs> My life is a joke. <laughs> My life's work. No. But here's the thing is that I kept trying to flirt with Ty Sheridan and I kept going. And the director was like, can you do anything different? I almost got fired. So you just didn't say anything and did flirty eyes. <laughs> no, I just looked at him like this. <laughs> That's not the look you pissed. gave him. <laughs> not the look I, I, they edited that. That's AI. That's not me. I, it's, and AI can do my last first. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, let's not talk about AI. Let's add that to the list. <laughs> <sighs> Has it been an hour yet? Is it almost time? We're for almost you? there. Thank God. We're like ten percent through. Ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's one. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Wait. So what happened with your first grade best friend? You guys oh. stopped talking, or? Um. Yeah, we stopped talking because she was mean. But yeah, she just called me short like one day, and mm. then I just like in my head was like, that's it. That's what I'm gonna be for the rest of my life, just short. Cause 5'2 is short. But it's- Do you agree or disagree? I disagree. Look I at think him short's taking a like, good stance on like, camera. Like, but I know if we were off this camera- is, This is short. The person? Well, no, his name's Peter. Oh, I thought, his, I thought you meant- His first no, no, no. name's not No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> no, 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 no. Peter Klikov. <laughs> Yeah, I see what you mean. I think it's like, I th- all of this is to say I'm insecure about being short. I wish that I was model tall. Six foot. Why are you insecure about being short? I don't know. Maybe I'm not insecure. Maybe I'm just pissed. Hmm. Have you ever had this much silence on an episode? <laughs> well, maybe. Cut, I'd have to think about it. But... I have been wanting to learn. I was listening to. Do you listen to other podcasts? I do. Do you happen to listen to Steve Bartlett, Diary of a CEO? No, I don't. Oh, man. It may have not been him. But someone was saying, like, be okay with the silence. You don't need to rush me. Next question. You know, there's, it's okay just to put the papers down for a little bit and see what you say. Just stare at me or until don't I say, say something embarrassing. Yeah. Last week I told <laughs> I, li- I admit something awful. Last week I killed a man. Yikes. Next question. Thirst. <laughs> <laughs> okay, admit it to a crime. Let's finish the interview before the police are here. It's not live. Oh, well, we bet, our, we bet our thousand biggest listeners watch live, so there are, there's Shut. 876 S- right now. Shut up, you're lying. Hey. I'm lying. <laughs> No, that'd be cool to do one day, but we're we're not quite there yet. That is really cool, actually. That would be cool. Um, so sorry, cool. I, I was trying to. I, we've got we've been going so many different directions. What, what just happened in my head was like, <coughs> do we go back to grade school? Do we talk about the pissed at being short? Do we go to my next question? <coughs> That's why my my brain paused. Do you need to get that out, girl? <clears throat> I'm good now. Cough it out. It's gone. <laughs> Um, this is how a normal conversation with me goes. Just everywhere and nowhere. Did you have friends in high school? <gasps> no. <laughs> yes, you did. How many friends did you have in high school? Um, really? Two. Why? I don't keep a lot of acquaintances, really. Quality over quantity. Yeah. I like that. N- n- oh, let me rephrase. I don't keep a lot of, like, friends. I keep, like, good friends, and then I have acquaintances. I don't, there's not really an in-between like, um, so even now, I think I have maybe like four people that I could call up right now and be like, hey, how are you doing? And in high school, it was only two. Just because I went to a STEM high school. What's I, that? I went to a science and math early college high school. So we didn't have a theater program. Is it for smart people? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was smart back then. If all you're doing is science and math, then. It was a smart school. Well, it from, I'm not saying I'm smart. Before you attack me in the comments, I'm not saying I'm smart. 
the school was for people that wanted to get ahead in their education. It was early college, mm. high school, um, and in the district. And I know this because there are two people here in like my college who went to my district, and they were like, "Oh, the smart school." Um, but yeah, it was all science and math based, and it was all like getting ahead. And so that's why I started doing acting out. That's why I've been in. 100 million shows and short films because I started it all at that point because I was like I can't do anything in high school and I'm 14 and want to do it so then I might as well like look outside so those 30 theater productions that you were in that was while you were in high school but not through your high school yes gotcha yeah it I, I've done one show here at UT but besides that I really don't I really don't have time being like a double major and having jobs and stuff um podcast appearances and Podcast experiences, Zach interviews, Bryan, music videos, getting yeah. bombarded by the paparazzi. Right. It's been a lot. So you knew at 14 you wanted to act? I knew at 13. Or at least at the time you knew at 13 you knew you wanted to be doing theater. Maybe you didn't know I want to do this for life, but you were like, I definitely want this to be part of my life. No, 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 no. I knew that I wanted to do it for life. How? I just did. Really? I did. Yeah, I just did. I How did so? It. Like, you, was it during your first play, or like, when did the light bulb moment happen? It was, so... I was in sixth grade and I was like in art and my art teacher hated me because I talked too much. And so it was like, okay, I need to go somewhere where I can talk. And so I went to theater and I pretty much knew I was just like, this is awesome. And so then I just kept doing it. Like I decided at 13, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I'm not, I wasn't a child star. I'm glad that I wasn't a child star. But then another part of me wishes I was a child star because then I wouldn't have to be working hard right now. Um, <laughs> But, but you might be like strung out, hot, <laughs> <laughs> strung out and hot. Okay, <laughs> whacked out on drugs, hot. Yeah, drug addicts, you're welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome here. Um, no, that's true. I think that there's a lot, and that's why I say like I'm glad that I wasn't because I, I think it's a lot of pressure to put on kids. Yeah, of course, it's a lot of pressure to have on as an adult, of just like let's do this crazy thing that doesn't really make any sense. Um. So yeah, I kind of just knew. So when you graduated high school at 17, 18 ish, mm -hmm. did you know you wanted to go to UT? No. Do you want to hear a statement that's redacted? Yep. I wanted to go to Texas State. Like College Station? Marcos, San Marcos. Oh, okay. Yeah, Texas State University. And then they saw my acting and they went, ugh. No, they went, ugh. They went, ugh. <laughs> Boring. That's what they said. That's not really what happened, is it? Basically. I got to know. They denied me. So you, what do you have to send them, the powers that be? You have to send the god of Texas State University. Uh, it's like two monologues. So it's like a, a monologue that's dramatic and then a monologue that's comedic. And then like a short like, hi, my name is Olivia Tovar. Um, yada, yada, yada. And then they call you back for like a second round of auditions. And then they make a decision. And they saw me that, no. That's rude. Yeah, I, I attacked I attacked the god of Texas State University. Yeah. No, it wasn't rude because, and let me tell you why it wasn't rude. <laughs> because for a long time I was like, you want to know what I was like? I was like, ugh, okay. So I can't go to my dream university anymore, thank you. Um, and then I realized that like UT is definitely where it should have gone mm. because of their film program, because I've done so much. Like I'm not really involved in the theater department. Um, my friends are, and they love it, and that's awesome. It's just not what I love. So it's like, if I didn't go to UT, I wouldn't have that. Right. Like, wouldn't have the film program. So it definitely, I fully believe in, like, the universe kind of guiding you places. Um, and so I think that was a guide of just, like, a, we're, I'm going to get them. This is the universe speaking. I'm going to get them to tell you no so you go to the right place. Good. Yeah. So I, it totally worked out the way that it should have worked out. Okay. Right on. Yeah. Did you make thirst in school? <sighs> yeah. Should we not talk about this? Pass. <laughs> no, no, no. We can't. I'll talk about it. I'll monologue about it. <laughs> about my thing. I mean. yeah. um, it's on YouTube? Where did I watch it? It's on YouTube. It's, listen, guys. Or it might be on your link tree. It is on my little link tree. Yeah. Oh, I need to update that. Um, yeah. So I made a little, it was like, listen, guys, before I get torn up in the comments. Again, it was the first thing that I made, 
And it was like for a little lighting class that I had in the theater department. department. And so I was just like, oh, okay, cool. I'm just going to make something that I think is really cool. And it was like not, it's not, it wouldn't be nominated for best picture. Best director, maybe. Maybe. Best actress, maybe. Best lighting, maybe. Best picture, it's a wild card. Right. Um, it, it was definitely it, it was definitely the first thing I made, and like I'm ha I'm proud of it in the way that it's like, oh, like look at this thing that I made. But it's again, this is my thing of always what's next, what's better, what mm. what can I do more, and not celebrating like oh that's really cute that I did that. Um, yeah. So I liked it. Hang on, I need to make a note. What's it about? Thirst. It's an abstract. <laughs> It's like an abstract thing about this girl who like wakes up in the middle of the night and really needs water. Why does she turn into a monster at the end? It's a high level concept. I wouldn't expect you to get it. I don't think I can explain it to you. Because she really needs the water. But I wake up parched as fuck sometimes and you don't see me like tossing my back leg over my shoulder to backwards walk into the bathroom. Let me film you for three <laughs> nights and oh we'll God. see if we can get it. We are not I'm doing that. <laughs> we are not doing that. <sighs> Stifling my creativity. This is why I'll never grow as an artist. <laughs> um, yeah, it was kind of just, again, something, we have a lot of movement classes in the theater department. Um, so I really wanted to take inspiration and like make, my actress's name was Taylor, is Taylor. She's still alive. Um, and I was kind of like, oh, you know, our movement classes, like when they go like this, I was like, just do that. Um, it was kind of just us being like, make it something fun. It was a wild five minutes. Thank you. <laughs> like <laughs> best picture worthy or what are you saying? Wild say? card on the best picture. Okay. But best lighting, best director, best actress. Yeah. <gasps> check, check, check. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um... <laughs> The other one I was going to ask you about, where'd it go? I'm just going back to your intro. I don't think it's in the intro. What's the other one where you get married and shit? <gasps> that's Changing Tides. Yeah, let's talk about that one. Didn't know my work. Just making it of this audience. <laughs> um, you, said, you guys said a lot in eight minutes without saying much at all. Like, and that's a compliment. <laughs> because sometimes, here, let me give you some context. Sometimes you watch yeah, like ahead. this three and a half hour movie, right? And at the end of it, I'm like, I don't even know what the well, storyline. <laughs> and when I meant that you guys didn't say a lot, it's because they have the audible, the audio like half muted. So you can get like, oh, they're saying something angry or they're saying something happy. Yes. But you don't really, you don't really hear the whole conversation. And then on top of it, you really got to rely on all the actions because you guys mm -hmm. are relying on music. You're relying on picture. You took sort of words out of it and used camera angles and music. And so I meant that as a huge compliment where you guys said a ton in only eight minutes, right? Nine, maybe? Yeah, it was short. Yeah, thank yeah. God. <laughs> guys, that wasn't even a joke. That's crazy. That was crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. When you're listening to the finalized audio of this, you should know that he cut out a lot of insults, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's been cursing me out behind the scenes. It's crazy over here. Did you write that? The short? <laughs> yes. No. You just, you, I'm not just, just you acted actor in it. In it. What did you think of it? I loved it. I thought it was so cute. Um, and obviously, the audience liked it too. How do we know that? I got a best supporting best actress. Oh, nomination. that's the one I read about. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Nominated. Yep, yep, yep. So they must have liked damn something about it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Um, but it was fun. The one thing about that set was we shot it in the winter. So like all those scenes where I'm in like a little dress on the beach, I was freezing. And we had there's mm. one scene where I'm like crying in the ocean. Right. You know, like a normal person. <laughs> and I ran out into the ocean, like actually I actually did that, that's actually not AI. I really did that. That wasn't a stunt double either, that was me. It was maybe 40 degrees outside. Yikes. And so the water was like freezing. Like we did it a couple times. And when you're in like that harsh of an environment, it's like hard to get into it, of course. Um, Cause I'm not thinking about my fake relationship in my <laughs> head. I, I'm just like, God damn, this water's cold. Um, but yeah, there's been there's been a lot of like crazy 
weather and crazy like set stuff. Waking up at 6 a.m. for set. It's tiring, but I love it. I thought you were going to say like four. Six isn't that bad. Sometimes it's four. Six for me is bad. Mm. What time do you, if you don't set, uh, if you have no work, no obligations, what time do you sleep till? Do you want to know something terrible? Yeah. That hasn't happened in so long. I don't know. I, every day I have something because I work for the audience. I work three different jobs and then my fourth is like acting stuff. So like the other day I was, I literally woke up at like 8 a.m. and didn't get to bed until like 1 a.m. Because I, I got up, I went to class, um, and then in between my classes, I had to do two auditions that I like shot in my room and was like, okay, done. And then I had another class and then I had work right afterwards. Um, I do, I enjoy being busy. I'm not torture. Well, I am torturing myself a little bit. Um, next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, if you want to watch um, Changing Tides, Changing Tides, if you want to watch Changing Tides, you should go watch it now. It's only eight minutes. Hit pause. Go hit it because I'm about to ask you a question. It's going to spoil the whole thing. Do you have you, <laughs> you guys better watch it before I take it down right after this episode. <laughs> Don't worry. I already got a copy. It's on the DSNSB <laughs> network. And the Vimeo network. password. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay. a hacker. Um, no, I just filmed it on my phone, so it's really janky. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it works. They have that on pirating websites. Do you know that? Like, people film stuff that shouldn't be online the on their phone. Oh. Like, movies. Like, movies. Oh, like, that's some desperate. Of them will, I know. Some of them will have an HD one, but then sometimes people get out their, their damn phones, and they're like, for three hours, and then it's on pirating website and you're just can like can you just enjoy the movie no not if you can make a quick buck I, I you know what that reminds me i haven't been to the movies in a long time and i miss them me neither i went on one date <gasps> oh. in austin and it was to the movies when was this whenever avatar 2 was in theaters <gasps> mm, successful date um let's just say the movie was more interesting than the person yeah, considering that there's no one else here, <laughs> I don't think I wake up. <laughs> Maybe I just kick him out every episode. I'm like, I'll be gone with you. I have bigger fish to fry. Maybe. Maybe. I have an actress coming over. Uh, I don't know. It, it feels lonely in this apartment, so I don't think, oh I don't think that's Oh, my God. <laughs> She's like, I saw the 30 bottles of booze on your counter. <laughs> You're like, not what? dating anyone. space for coffee. <laughs> no, it's actually very, and I said this, and I'll say it again for the camera, very good vibes in here. Thank you. He had Zach Bryan playing on the TV because I was in one music video. I'm his number one fan, apparently. <laughs> so he said, oh, I thought you would like it. You know what I, I don't almost... have any other personality traits. What? <laughs> you know what I almost turned on? I don't know why. I just got this vibe from you. I was like, she what? would like this if this was on when she walks oh, in. Oh, I hope you're dead on. What? Jeff Goldblum. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Do you know who that is? Yes, I know who that is. Do That's you know the... that he makes music? <laughs> That's the... That's the guy on uh, all of the apartment ads. <laughs> what? Jeff Goldblum is in apartment ads. I don't know him from anything else. But he sells me apartments. I'm pretty sure. Apartments.com. Look up apartments.com Jeff Goldblum. I might be wrong. Not sponsored. Hashtag ad. Um, no, Zach Bryan was definitely the right choice. He is the only artist that I know. Oh, I heard it there. But he also plays the piano. I don't know if he writes That's the music, crazy. but he tours it. I did not know that. Yeah, he's really good. But I do like that. He's really good. That's crazy. That's not what I was expecting. So you didn't know that. that he had, you thought he was just the schmuck from Jurassic Park in apartment commercials? Yes. <laughs> yes. I said, who is that? Why does everybody like him? So I almost had that on, but then I was like, ah, let's put on Zach Bryan. Because you have no other personality. <laughs> what are we even talking about? I d you want, you want this to train is so derailed. Stop the recording. In the best way possible. <laughs> let's start over. Okay, wait, let's just backtrack. Before we were talking about Jeff, what were we talking about? How busy you are? Your four jobs? Yeah, but we were talking about, before that we were talking about, oh, oh, we were talking about set. And it's... We should just go to the next one. There's oh, no oh, way. oh, the thing I was going to ask you about uh, changing tides. Which is? Oh, the spoiler. <gasps> spoiler. So I'll skip ahead. Like oh, my God. Two how minutes. did we get here? God. Who? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh, is the husband dead? 
what's your two cents? Do you have in, an insider take as to what, hey, what did the director want us to think? Because I was really <gasps> sad. End, I'm like, he's out of the picture? Why is he out of the picture? Because let me tell you what, when you first asked, what are you talking about? I did not remember what you're talking about. <laughs> <Like, laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, what are you asking about? No, wrong film. No, you're, that's the right film. <laughs> <laughs> Is the husband dead? Um, hmm. We want to see, because what we wanted to do with it was like turn it into kind of like a murder mystery. Like, like if you look really closely in that frame, I have blood spattered across my cheek. Because you drowned him. No, I strangled him with my hands. Mm. No, that's not true. Uh, no, it was just a little beach day with me and my daughter. Ooh. We also didn't have that actor back that day, if I'm being honest. <laughs> they also didn't want to pay him for another day, so. The truth, is that, that's so funny that I watched that video and I was like, man, that's really a turn of, well, because didn't it start with the daughter, like you as a little girl with the mom? So I almost thought yes. it was like, I was like, so one of two things have happened. Either they just took him out because they're mirroring, like the way the video started is the way the video is ending. <gasps> oh, that's good. Or. Oh, that's a really good thought. <laughs> that's a really good idea. We should let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> also, I remembered a question earlier that I did not answer. You said, you said, what, what did the nine ball music video mean? Oh my God. <laughs> did How answer. did we move on from that? I don't know. I said something about people not being mean to me and then we moved on. So the nine ball, the good. nine ball music video. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of mean commenters, not mean, a lot of focused commenters noticed that we were not playing nine ball. We were playing eight ball. Hello? <laughs> well, Can you hear me? <laughs> I, I don't, I, I, the only thing I know about billiards is you, 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 you're either stripes or solids and you don't. Same. Like. Same. Okay, but so every, a lot of focus people who actually know people. billiards. Yeah, was, that's not nine ball, that's eight ball. And everybody was like, yeah, the director probably didn't know. And it was just like, so I can't tell you what that means, everybody. The truth is to finally answer all the questions. Everyone, stop knocking at my door, stop DMing me, stop calling me, here's your answer. We didn't think about it. I'm guessing that they didn't even think about it. I wasn't on the crew. I Are wasn't you on the allowed production to say team. that? That they didn't think about it? I'm <sighs> Cut that. <laughs> you know what? I just realized I signed an NDA. Cut that. No. They just, I'm sure that they just didn't think about it. Because we were just, they were just shooting pool. Who cares? But then, you asked at the end, McConaughey takes out the kid. Right. If I'm being honest, I showed up to set that day. They ushered me into the hair and makeup trailer and they stuck me on set. They didn't explain nothing to me. They just stuck me in it and they said, you see that guy over there, flirt with him. Okay. It's what I do best. I'm an object. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid I am to an show object up and flirt. made to flirt. And told nothing. nothing. You start to ask a question, quiet. Quiet you. <laughs> quiet you. <laughs> Olivia. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'll just go back to flirting now. <laughs> and I look at him. With, 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 with Ty. Ty Sherry. Does he have any relation to that other dude? No. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Can't tell you the first name of the guy. Taylor. No. You sure? 100%. Okay. Because I auditioned for something for Taylor Sheridan. Um, and I like looked at, because I was like, Sheridan. Different, different human beings. What a quinky dink. Because Zach Bryan plays a lot of music in Yellowstone. Really? A oh, that, that would like make every sense. fucking episode. No, which is great. I don't know why I said that. Why like is annoying. I love Zach. <laughs> I do every episode. I <laughs> every goddamn I, oh, there's Zach I again. Have, <laughs> I have to hear my least favorite song, Nine Ball. <laughs> Damn it! And they're playing Eight Ball. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> then we got this other Sheridan with the same first lettered name. T You're Sheridan. Just so T Sheridan. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, is confusing. Uh, no, that's <laughs> confusing, David. I see why. Can we breathe? It's okay. But now I really do want your take. Why? What does the last 10 seconds of the video mean? I thought that it's like this. So the whole video happens. And keep in mind, I didn't get I didn't get a storyboard. I didn't get anything. I literally showed up to set and I knew that I was playing someone's girlfriend. I didn't know anything. 
Um, it was also like very much under wraps. Mm. Because I don't know if you guys know him. Matthew McConaughey was in like Interstellar, Disney Confused, like a couple things. He's like a famous actor or whatever. Um, so things about him stay pretty under wraps. Um, so yeah. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> What does the last 10 seconds of the video mean? Oh. <laughs> uh, pass. <laughs> no! <laughs> I think that it was like, but I'm all, I think that it was in his head. I think that all like of the video drunk. happened. No, 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 no. Because the son picks up the dad at the end, and it's like, he's, Matthew McConaughey says, and you can see him say it, and he really said it on set, he said, that's my boy. And so it's like, his son picks him up and takes him out, and so I think like, when he comes out of the bar, it's just like a, this is how I still see my son. It's like a, this is the baby boy who has been with me. It was a metaphor. Ugh. Oh, so like his son actually is carrying him out, but because he sees him as his boy. No, uh, no, oh. no. <laughs> oh. Really frustrated right now. <laughs> Maybe the truth is, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the truth is, I was just, a, I'm just an actor. I don't know. <laughs> I was just an actor. Why do they keep things with Matthew McConaughey under wraps? Because he's Matthew middle name McConaughey. What do you mean? Because <laughs> like, people would have stormed the, stormed the bar. People mm. would have showed up at the bar at least. Right. If they knew that he was there, they would have showed up. You think he'd come on my podcast? I'm going to tell him not to. I'm going to tell him you'll watch 25 minutes of his stuff and then get bored. He turned on Wolf of Wall Street. And he said, bored. You turn on Interstellar. That's coming back to theaters this year because it's their uh, like their 20th anniversary or something like that. So, you've seen it. No. You, but here's why. A friend has been making me wait for decades because he says I can only see it in theaters. So I'm going to see it this hmm, year okay. in IMAX. Oh. I might have to go see it in IMAX as well. Okay. Fantastic movie. We can all go. Do you like popcorn? No. Slushies? Of course I like popcorn. Am I a monster? <laughs> yes, I like popcorn. One of my guests <laughs> drank whiskey with me and ate popcorn with me. That was a fun episode. And where's my food? Want me to pop us some popcorn? No. Okay. Because then the whole time... Maybe it'd be good ASMR for the people. They'd click off the episodes so fast. If they, I guess they're clicking off me and Sutton's. Because <laughs> we, uh... All right, I have a question from you. It's a quote from your Instagram. Oh, crap. Here we go. And it's, <laughs> it's not a recent one either. So you're, like, not going to remember it. Five years ago, <laughs> you, you said you, you hated this type of people. <laughs> right. All right. I love auditioning. <clears throat> it's when you're at your... <laughs> I don't have to read it. You I take like it back. You're in distress. <laughs> no, go. It's when you're at attack. your most powerful. There's I said this or I posted so that somebody said this. Could go either way. There's no way I said this. Let me finish. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> there's, the no, abuse. there's no one editing you, and it's just you. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> They'll tell you if they don't like it, so you might as well do what you want first. This is a quote I posted. From I didn't Mini say that. Driver. I, yeah, I didn't say that. Why'd you post it then? It's too smart for me to say, because I'm a liar. You seem like you're just like vehemently against it. No, I think that um, back when I posted it, that's true. That was true. That was, bef I'm pretty sure, before the era of self tapes, before the era of everything as you sit in front of a camera and do it yourself and you edit it yourself and you do it. So it's actually not like that says that it's not an edited version. It's not da 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 da. Um, it's a very edited version of yourself now, which is good for me because my first take is never good. Um, <laughs> I'm actually a really bad actor. <laughs> no, you're not. That's why I'm not. That's why you got bored. <laughs> why would you say that about you? I'm kidding. I got bored because I'm you weren't best. in it. I got bored because you weren't in it. I was like, Do I showed up for that? an Olivia Tovar film and I got this guy crying about his daughter that won't talk to him. Love him. David, shout out. Love His name's him. David? Yes. It starts with an M. Because. In the show. He played a character. Morgan? No. Magnus. Yes. 
<laughs> I was like that. Go for it, Magnus. We're getting creative on the names mm-hmm, here. We're like the mm-hmm. three most uncommon names. I Magnus. Had, I had so much fun. Um, let me finish. Auditions. Now, I'm at the point. Huh, everybody's heard an actor say this. Everybody. Oh my god! Everybody said this before. Auditioning is the job, and it is. Huh, it is the job, because it's like you sit in front of a camera and you submit something that you know you're not gonna get, and it's just like. But then, but then. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes you have a nine ball and you get it. So you never really know. But it it it, it, it kind of sent excuse me, cut that. It kind of sent <laughs> you're nope. not gonna cut anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> the editing software doesn't work. <laughs> Janky. <laughs> I really don't know why that felt. I off. know that's so funny though. That's gonna be a clip. <laughs> None of me speaking, it's all you. And it's you all me you. just fucking up <laughs> and insulting you. People are going to be like, what is going on this week? Why is he just, why is he just insulting me? I take girl. the mic off and just like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like what is, David's officially lost it. He's gone manic. So no, it's just... But imagine if next week you're so nice. It's just this one week. You just really hate it. I have Emma me. back on. So, so Emma. Oh my God, you're so fantastic. <laughs> I was like, damn it. Why didn't he say that about me? Um, <sighs> <sighs> it was so great to meet you. <laughs> I have another quote. It was so nice to say. No! This one actually is you. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Oh, yes. But it's so, but you, oh, I wish I had the thing now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did I forgot to write it down? <gasps> there was this post that you did in 2021, and you put a quote with Cephas Jones about feeling constantly stuck in your comfort zone. And if yeah. you're stuck in your yes. comfort zone, yes. it means you're not growing. Yes. And you had talked about like how you don't even want to get out of bed. You just want to stay in bed, watch TV. What was going on with Olivia? Um... Olivia was sad. No. No, 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 no. I think that I was, like, not lazy. It's nice to relax. I think that at that point, that was before I left for college. And it was kind of like, it's so nice to be at home where things, my family has always operated on a very strict schedule. You wake up at this time, you go to bed at this time. It was a very strict schedule. Love you. (laughs) <laughs> um, but it was also very the comfort of knowing, oh, it's this time I know what's going to happen. So I think that comfort zone like also meant a lot of just like, I want to stay where I'm at. Um, because I, oh, I have the worst, just the worst anxiety. Um, genuine, diagnosed, everyone. Um, not just throwing that word around. Um, so it's, it's difficult to want to push myself to do things. I was nervous to damn come here. And what is this? What are these taped on the wall? <laughs> like this is nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. I love being here. Um, but I was nervous to come here just because I like have anxiety. So I think that that has also stopped me from stepping out of my comfort zone a lot. It's just like the anxiety of it. It's not fun. Hmm. Yeah. Is there anything you can do to Is that why you stay so busy? Does it almost help like su- not suppress but like keep the anxiety out of the- Mm-hmm. Really? So if you were to slow down, like if you took a day off from everything, would it the anxiety go like this? Mm-hmm. Really? So is yes. it hard for you to relax? Mm-hmm. Did you have you ever taken a vacation? Yes. How'd it go? I worked during it. So you haven't taken a vacation. I mean, it was like a day that I it because it's not okay. So I just went on a vacation. I went on a vacation last week. Uh, me and my other friend went to Six Flags, which was awesome. Um, And that was really fun. And it was for like a day or two. And it was like, okay, that's fine. But even then, you know, I'm picking up my phone, checking my emails, because when people call, people call. And I have to be there. Um, Because it could be gigs or something. It could be gigs. It could be, not to bring it up again, it could be Nine Ball, where it's Mm -hmm. like, submit it now. I need it now. And auditions are crazy. Sometimes due the next day at 3 p.m. And when I have classes... Sometimes I have to shoot auditions at like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Anyways, um, but during my last vacation that I just took over spring break, I just shot an audition like in our beach house and I booked it, but I shot a little audition. So it's like, even then it's like, I'm not really ever 100% just like 
put my phone away. Nothing matters right now because it's, I have such a weird job that I have to be available all the time. And I'm not at the point in my career where it's like, hey, manager, I'm not going to pick up your call for a week because I'm out. It's like I need any and every opportunity because it's just where I'm at. Right. Yeah. Was it sort of nice to be able to disconnect from your phone tonight? <sighs> yes. You got like an hour and a half break yes. or something like that. We'll see how long it goes for. But <laughs> Ten hours. <laughs> um, we could keep talking. For ten hours? Man, we got to get you to your friend's party. That's true. Um, yeah, it was, it's very nice. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so in love with my friends. Because, again, I don't keep a lot of them. So it's like, not that I think other people in my life are crappy, but just because it's hard for me to, like, you know, I made the list of 200 things, like I said earlier. It's hard for me to connect sometimes. Um, so it's it was very nice to be able, with you and with, like, other friends as well, it's nice to just, like, yeah, put it away so nice what do you want to happen in los angeles what do you want to get out of your time there i want to get famous <laughs> yes i, I want to <laughs> let's go um to put it in better terms i want to work i want to be a working actor um and that that for me of course because i'm just like shooting for the stores works like i just want to book movies and i want to book hmm. dramas that i'm just like wow this is awesome and i just want to work yeah, I think that uh, being here in this stage for so long where I'm kind of just like sending stuff out and it's like nothing really feels like it's hitting. I think that I'm like craving, praying to God. Who? <laughs> God. Um, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> for for a time. I'm, 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 t I'm asking the universe for a time where I send out an audition and I have a chance and I feel like I have a chance and it's like, Oh, they know my name. Like maybe I'll get this one. Hmm. I'm waiting for that time. When you're working or s in bed or wherever, when you're living, when you're alive and awake, do you daydream about yourself being a big, a famous actress or even just like, maybe not even famous, but just like, do you see, imagine yourself in movies and on sets with, yeah. Well, duh. Yeah, of course I do. Um, what what movie are you in? Any movie with Jennifer Lawrence. J La. Any movie. That's Hunger Games, right? Oh, yes, along with a myriad of other films. Good movie, Hunger Games. I know. And Ty Sheridan and Scott Shepard were both in a movie with Jennifer Lawrence, so they knew her, and so they both told me. Or uh, Ty didn't because I wasn't a creep to Ty, but I asked Scott. Said, what was she like? Scott was like, oh, she's so fun. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Why do you like her? I don't know. No, I know. I know. It's because in interviews, she was so funny. She was so funny. Like, I would just watch her and, like, be laughing the whole time. And she wasn't afraid to just be like, and I look dumb. And I look, and I embarrassed myself. And it was just one of the first times where I was like, Laura, it was someone famous that was just like, and I did this stupid thing. She was so funny. And so then I started watching her a lot. And then in Passengers, watching her, if you've seen Passengers, there's a scene where she like throws a vase at a window and is like by herself and just like sobbing and everything's so sad. And it was the first time that I watched and I was like, oh, I had like a realization that like, you don't always have to try and look pretty as a woman in film. Like sometimes it's about like really crying and really like experiencing that emotion. Um, and that was the first time that I, I'm sure that I saw it before, but that was the first time that it like clicked. And I was like, oh, she's not worried about like, let me make sure my makeup's okay, let me make sure my hair's okay. Like it was more of just like, a, I'm gonna feel this in the scene. I love her, man. I watched her in, I watched her in No Hard Feelings, right? It's the new, have you seen No Hard Feelings? Mm -mm. So funny, watch it. Okay. And when she first walked out, cause I hadn't seen any of her movies for a while. So when she first walked out, I started sobbing. Genuinely. Started sobbing. Full tears. We had to pause the movie. For probably like five to ten minutes. Because I was just like, oh my god, it's her. And she looks so beautiful. And oh, I love her. I remember there is one Oscars where she won an award and she tripped going up the stage. You remember yes. that? Yes. It's really funny. She's real. She's yeah. so real. And like, I know that that's another thing where it's just like, 
actors are real people or like celebrities are real people. And I know that that's like been done and been said and everything, but like Jennifer Lawrence really is like, she's just so normal in mm. interviews and in all of her stuff. And it's weird to see her from like that phase back in 2013 where she was like the highest paid actress in the world to like really? now. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think it was 2013. Um, that was Hunger Games era. That was like the, I think the last Hunger Games. Mm. She was crazy big. And then to, for her to take a break and come back where she's married and she has a kid and not married to me. Can you believe? Mm. Um, but not married and has a kid and she comes back and she's so like mellow now and like kind of grown up a little bit. It's very mm. weird. Cause that's also one of the first actresses who I've like tracked for a long time. So I'm like, oh, you, you guys change and grow like real people. You track her. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. No, she's the first actress who I've like. Followed. Followed. Did Tracked. she marry Josh Hutcherson? Mm -hmm. That other guy. No, she didn't. He has a girlfriend and they live in Spain now. Oh, no, she did not. She married an art dealer. Ah. And they live in New York. Okay. And they have one baby boy, two years old. Next question. Next question. You, when in the culture question, you said you want to change visibility in the media specifically. That's not what I said. <laughs> I, I control seed, control veed it. <laughs> it's literally. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting an email. I'm getting a phone call from my manager. It's on I that shit's on silent. <laughs> um, no, I. I, of course I want to change visibility in media, but what I wrote is that I want to touch on it and like mm. how I wish that it was going faster. Um, so the other day I got an audition, great part. Shout out to my manager. Um, and it was the daughter of an audience. Pull out, pull out your phone. Go to, go to Google or safari.com. You're gonna know these people. <laughs> Go to safari.com.edu and type in Katherine Hahn and John Hamm. And now pull up this video on YouTube and tell me if I look like either one of them. So what the hell am I doing auditioning for their daughter? I don't look anything like them. And I think getting those auditions, I'm like, I'm, I am literally like, ugh. Because I know that someone who is white is gonna get that part. And if they're talented, oh. Sorry. And if they're talented and wonderful, that's amazing. Good for you. But like, I know I normally audition for daughter parts. No, I know. I normally audition for daughter parts. So when all the really famous A-list actors in Hollywood are white, it's really difficult for me to get a daughter part because mm. all of them are white and I don't really look white. So um, that's also been a big, big struggle for sure. And one that I talk to my friends a lot about it's just like, it's so discouraging to get those auditions. Cause I'm like, oh, I know that I'm not gonna get it. Cause I don't look like them. Hmm. Yeah. So how does that change? Years. I think unfortunately it's gonna take a long time. Of just more diversity coming into yes. the industry and then them getting older and all the white yes. people retiring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or dying <laughs> or dying we no. do have this joke i'm a recruiter for my day job and you would be surprised how many people are like if i i'm changing jobs because if i want a promotion i need someone to quit or die mm -hmm. and everyone's in their 40s so i'm job hunting and like that's yeah. i hear it at least once a week no joke yeah um it, it kind of is that of just like we are ushering in a new wave of stars right now um, because all the people from 2013, 2012 are like getting older. And that was like a big, I would argue big years for movies when a lot of people got famous. And so I think we're in a new era, but yeah, it is kind of just like changing the new wave to be more like representative of our society and then them getting older and being able to play parents. That's a really specific thing. That's a really specific complaint for me yeah. <laughs> about like, I want to, I want to get roles as the daughter, but it, it was just an example of like, it's really, it's really whitewashed and that's unfortunate. Um, and it's scary. Mm. Why is it scary? Cause I'm a little, I'm a little Mexican girl. So it's like, I don't. With a taser. With a taser five foot two 
in nine ball. What am I going to do? <laughs> eight ball. Eight ball more like. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, in eight ball, it's just, it's scary being a no one and trying to like break into it and not exactly looking like what everybody looks like right now. Not that it's like, and again, I think that things in TV, I feel like have changed a little bit, but I feel like film is a little bit behind. Ugh. Yeah. You said you watched Emma's episode. I did. I watched what? I watched 25 minutes of it. <laughs> you got through 25 minutes of it? I got through 25 minutes of it. What did you think about her idea of staying here in Austin to do independent films? Good idea. Have it you thought about idea. that or just not for you? I don't think it's for me, but I also don't think it's for me mostly because I'm stubborn and because it's like, no, I'm going out to LA. I'm going to do the thing. Um, but I think that's a good idea. I think that there's a very fast growing market out here. Um, obviously I'm getting auditions and booking stuff out here, eight ball. Um, so there's stuff going on out here. It's just, I've always been told like, if you want to do this, go out there. Mm. Um, and Emma's not an actress, I don't think. No. Producer. Yes. I didn't know if she, if she dabbled. I um, don't think so. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Maybe, it, maybe it's different for crew out here and a little bit different for cast. There's more <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like I'm dumb? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just, I'm, oh, I didn't mean for that. Here, let me change my face. Like the people on Game of Thrones. Never seen it. <laughs> oh, I just looked like a crazy person then. <laughs> um, oh, can I say something about Emma's? Yeah. Okay. So you guys talked about, I said this in my form, you guys talked about bee stings and stuff. And scorpions. I wanted to talk about that. All right. Let's talk about that. Because I have experience. She was going through listing all these animals. I'm like, oh, I have relations to all these animals. From Houston? No, from just my life. So... Um, I've been stung by ten, by eight bees and two wasps. It's been ridiculous. At the same time? No, no. Um, it was all throughout my life, so the, uh, it's all random. How'd you keep count? Because I realized by like the fifth bee, I was like, "This is weird, right? Like that's too much." Not because I know you got stung like seven times once. In the eye, ball, well up here, it, it got the skin. That is awful. It it was yeah. It's not like that, but um, yeah, mine are just, mine's more of a random occurrence. And so it's just something I like to keep track of. But she talked about brown recluse spiders and how you were like, oh, have you ever been bitten by one? Or whatever you sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you ever been bitten? <laughs> Cut that. You do <laughs> <laughs> Two can play this game. <laughs> no. Um, you were like, oh, have you ever been bitten by one? She said, no, thank God I've been bitten by one. Where? That's a brown. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. No, like get out of my home. I'm kidding. Because it's active. It's contagious. Do you know that? You know what would be crazy if it would just like spontaneously <gasps> burst into oozing pus. I thought you were gonna say if a damn spider crawled out of it. Could you imagine that be if cool? you were Madam Web? <laughs> Wait, cast me in Madam Web. <laughs> Could you imagine if you were like doing a scene with Matthew McConaughey and your leg just? bit pus onto his leg. You know what I would have done? I would have licked it off. Oh my so God. So That's the grossest thing cut anyone's ever that. said to me. Oh, I'm If you itchy. don't cut that, I'm suing. I can't cut it. It's turning into a clip. Listen. Oh, the people are really going to be grossed out by the clips that week. People are really going to hate gonna you. It's going to be like abuse and, and pus. I shouldn't have come here. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm never going to book anything. Now I'm hated by the public. No, next time you come here, we're having a drink. No. <laughs> I told David, I said, um, I said, he was like, oh, do you, do you want something to drink? Because now you're British. Do you want something to drink? Uh, hey, can't do a British accent. Um, oh, sir, would you like a drink? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said, when I opened the door, I kid you not, David looked at me and said, Hello. I said, hello. So, is it uh, no he offered me a drink and i like asked all of my friends i was like guys sometimes he has drinks with his guy. i am 21 stop looking at me um okay so i look 14. i'm actually 28. no i'm 21. <laughs> um <laughs> i'm 28 years away imagine 
Anyways, um, so he offered me a drink. And I asked all my friends. I was like, should I get a drink? And they all said, no. They all said, absolutely not. Because, like I said, drunk on two Trulies, two White That's Claws, wild. not sponsored. Two, gone. And so it's like, I have to be really careful. So it's like, I knew that if I had one drink, I'm sleeping here tonight. <laughs> you see that couch over there? And it does, I mean, it turns into a couch. One, someone actually used it. My buddies, um, Emma, <laughs> Tyler and Austin came over and they spent the night because the place where they were supposed to stay, the AC broke. It was a hell of fun night. We played Smash Bros. And then <laughs> <laughs> we looked up videos of, uh, <laughs> why is this so funny? <laughs> no, I just got because nerd. Okay. I'm just kidding. No, no. That's really cute. Thanks. It was a fun night. I imagine. Having friends randomly crash at your place is the best. It was Like when it's fun. unexpected and you're just like, yeah. yeah, do you want to stay the night? They were going to leave and then they were like, can we stay? And it's like, yes. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Because it's like, oh, I don't have to ask my mom anymore. Yeah, you can stay. <laughs> that's, yes. That's, yeah. We all felt like men for the first time. <laughs> for our slumber and we party. Were all men. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we did before every Smash Bros round. <laughs> We got a noise complaint that night. So good. Those motherfuckers downstairs. You ever, get, you ever got a noise complaint? Yeah, in this Us apartment. <gasps> From this? No. Oh. Well, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember what we were doing. I think it was, I was, you know what I was doing? Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Shark Tank and doing dishes. <gasps> and you and you were yelling, I'm out! Every time we would a product, you said, no one's ever going to buy this product. And it was you technically were really at it. like 11.45. But the next day I and go to take watching. that on his walk, and there's a piece of paper clipped to my door <gasps> saying, oh. it's like notice of lease violation. So I go over to the, the this, to talk to Cynthia, and she was like, yeah, they... Not Cynthia. She's like, they complained about your party. <gasps> And I was like, I did have it. It was me and Mr. Wonderful. Party <laughs> of one. Part, technically six if you include oh. the sharks. Seven if you include Sir Thaddington. That's the dog. We, <laughs> that's the dog, guys. Um, We got a noise complaint recently. Four? At my friend's apartment, not mine, everyone. Um, The Oscars. Because we were yes. screaming. Of course. You think we're going to watch did the Oscars and not Oscar scream? party? Yes. Me and my friends all held an Oscar party. We all, every year we get together and we watch the Oscars. And we like got, get dressed up and we go over to one of our places and like and just hang out and watch the Oscars together. But this was the first night, the first Oscars where like drinks were involved. So like we were like drinking and we played, I made a drinking game because I'm psychotic. And I was just like, everybody's gonna drink. <laughs> and it was like, if you got one wrong, you would have to drink. So I let everybody filled theirs out. Oh, yikes. Uh-huh. Um, especially because, like, a lot of the answers that I chose were, like, I hope it's this. <laughs> because, yeah. I think that, yeah. I'm not going to comment on the Oscars. But um, it was so fun. But we did get a noise complaint. Cops did knock on our door. And I said, hey. <laughs> you went, right, well, right before you opened the door, you went, Ugh. and then you opened the door and went. I held, I held up a shot and I said, who do you think is going to win Best Picture? <laughs> and they got it wrong. Two cops were at our party. Did they really? Yes. You made them guess? No. Oh, God, no. Oh. I was, no. If they would have seen, they would have, here's the handcuffs. <laughs> handcuffs, back of the cop car. No. They would have immediately shot at me if I stood up. No, it was, they just knocked on her door. They seemed chill. And they were just like, hey, y'all are making a lot of noise. And we said, mm -hmm. and they said, stop it. <laughs> we said, mm. And then they left. And we did not get another noise complaint. But, it, but you know what? Also, rightfully so. It was probably midnight. <coughs> yeah, people are trying to sleep. Shut up. It, would they you, were right. Would you believe me if I told you every year for about eight years, me and my best friend Catherine through an Oscar party. <gasps> really? Neither of us are actors or anything. We just, we and we went all out. Like we made people dress up. We always planned out a menu. The kitchen table would have envelopes on it and you'd put your cash in there oh, and you'd make your anonymous cute. bets. And <coughs> we got <coughs> we got Ken dolls and spray painted them gold. And <coughs> This is cute. 
it was it was wild and we stopped because of covid i think mm. isn't that sad yeah you just started back up again i can't there's no room in here yeah it is a small janky apartment mm -hmm. i mean yeah we could fit you people. could absolutely fit a lot of people. This would be so cute. No, Oscar's party are the funnest. Because fun. it's, it's also like, because not everybody at our party were actors, um, but a lot of them were. So it's like, all of us were sitting there like, oh my God. And it was just like, we're, we're gonna be there one day. We're not. We might. <laughs> um, which would be awesome, of course. But yeah. We actually are at time already. Do you want to keep going for a little while if you have more questions? Or do you want to wrap it up? These are blank. Are they? That's it? Um, awesome. I have a couple of wrap-up questions for you. Okay, awesome. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Yes. So when I got bit by the brown recluse, oh, my yeah, whole yeah, yeah. leg swelled up. And I couldn't walk on it. Because she was talking about, oh, the skin rots. It does. So I had to go get little surgery on it. What do you want to hear what happened? They, they cut it open. Leg? Oh, <laughs> they cut it open. You're going to hate this. Look at me. Look at me in my eyes. They squeezed out the pus. No, <laughs> that made me itch. And you know what they did? They licked it. <laughs> no! I don't believe that. No, I don't believe that. They didn't lick it. But they did have to. How would you say the English word extradite the pus? And I couldn't walk in it for a few days. And then they. Oh, you know what was the worst part? To keep. <laughs> I need a drink. Should I be saying this on this podcast? People yes. are listening. Okay, cool. They would have to stuff it to keep it open so it could keep draining. No. What is it called? Gauze? No, 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 no. What is it called when you're like, when they put you under? Anas oh. Anesthesia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. none of that. Uh, they would just like take me and I would have to like hold on to the bed and they would like stuff it inside my leg. I've never been this visibly uncomfortable on this show or it's, in life in general. It's it was really gross and it hurt really bad. Did you kill the spider? Never saw it. I never. Were saw you it. in bed? No, 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 no. I think that I was on set, and it like crawled up my pant and just bit it right there. So do you remember being on set and being like, "Oh, that's my leg feels weird." Nope. So when did you notice the bite? Maybe a day or two afterwards. Why am I asking questions? <laughs> Maybe a day or two afterwards. So you just looked down and you were like, that's weird that pus is coming out of my- There was no pus. At first it was like a ball. It was like when you hit your shin and it still like swells up. It was like that. Did it feel like that too? No, if I couldn't walk on it. Hmm. I was like, this is weird. And then I started looking it up and I was like, oh, this is a brown recluse bite. And now I have a permanent scar. So um, when I was like eight years old, my mom told me this story about when one time our grandma was, she had some kind of surgery in, or something, but she was in bed and like paralyzed from the recovery. And so- and you call it some kind of surgery. <laughs> she couldn't move. It was a full hip years. replacement. Let's go with that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, some surgery where you can't walk for a time. <laughs> some surgery. And I remember her telling us the story that she like lifted up her blankets to like, just like shift things around or something. Okay. And there was a black widow in there. Wow. And like her husband wasn't home and she was like using the sheets to try to like, but she's like this poor grandma's oh, bedridden yeah. with this fucking spider and she just can't do shit. I would have given And it I up. like to this day, probably like once a year, I have a nightmare where there's a spider in my bed and I like violently jump out of bed when I wake up. It freaks me the fuck I've out. I've never thought about it and I hate that. But at that point it's like, Whew. it's like, I'm gonna get sleep. If you wanna bite me, you can bite me. I already got bit. I'll just go through it again. That's what I wanted to talk about. That was the important thing I wanted to talk about. Your turn. Hmm. What do I wanna talk about? This month has been a great month. <laughs> So this year's been weird because January, I got back from Christmas. I went home and I came back and I had like one episode. And I was like, fuck. Mm. I usually have at least four or five. Mm. Um, I was like, fuck, I have no episodes. And I was just hitting up people like crazy. I probably messaged you. I probably did message you. Yeah, I know. And <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second. And then I got a bunch of people to commit and we were recording, recording, recording. And then February was super stressful for reasons that I complain about on here more than once. And 
I had to change editing software, and I really don't want to learn the new stuff. I was like, yeah. fuck it. I'm not a video editor. I'm what a did podcaster. you have to change to? I went from Descript to DaVinci. Oh, yeah. And that was stressful because yes. David didn't want to learn new things. Yeah. And then this month, all those problems went away, and everything is just, I've learned DaVinci. I'm posting clips again. Oh, that's And fantastic. life is just, life is just smooth. I've been happy for the first time since Christmas. Oh. That's what I wanted to talk about. That's really sweet. Yeah. I um I apologize for being so hard to reach out to. Oh no. I feel like they like you would reach out and I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it felt. <laughs> I was like pushing you away and you just kept coming back. It, well, you know what? There have been bagging a couple and bagging. Here's the thing though that I think is crazy. Maybe I shouldn't say this. <gasps> you You're, didn't actually want me. No, it's gonna be a compliment. Oh, really? So, y what, before I say what I'm going to say, why, why did you ultimately say yes? Especially since it got to your nerves a little bit. Uh, because, this is a good question. I had never been on a podcast before. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy talking to people like this. Like, I find a lot of joy out of it. Um, being, t being able to put my phone down for sure, but also being able to, like, sit down and just, like, chat with somebody is really awesome. So I think that I'm just... I've always loved podcasts and that form of like chatting with people and being silly and stuff. Um, so I think I was just excited to do like a podcast. Cool. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course I did. So what's, what's <laughs> this funny? This has been awesome. Good. Good. <laughs> we laughed a lot. It was nice. Oh God, I know. Um, <laughs> there are people significantly less busier than you who are harder to get a hold of, who I've given up on trying to get on this thing. Really? And in my head, I'm like, how is it I can get this person with like four jobs and in school? How is it I can get this doctor on? How is it I can mm. get this lawyer on? Mm -hmm. How is it? And then these other individuals, I'm just like, the you know ladies. what? <laughs> but here's the, the other thing I think. I think that the right people say yes for the right reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I I will reach out to someone about three or four is sort of my cutoff right now. Mm. If I messaged if I've messaged you four times, if you have committed, let me rephrase that. If I've got a firm commitment to you coming on and then I message you three or four times and I don't get something back, yeah. you're blacklisted. <gasps> oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. DSNSB has a blacklist. That's crazy. It's right up there. No way. <laughs> Why is my name? <laughs> At the top of the list. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's a good move, though. Yeah, that's a that's a good thought. It's a, like a Texas State University thought when they said no to me. It's kind of uh, kind of a good guide. No, I think uh, the right people are making the effort to come on, and I appreciate oh, yeah. your time. But that's the thing is like because you kept reaching out, and I kept saying like yes, like litter. And then when I did eight ball, it was like you reached out, and I was like, I just did a really cool project. Let's wait for it to come out. Yep, and then we can talk about it. That yes. made me more, th that honestly was, I was, so when you said that, I was like, oh, all right, yeah, that's Some, wait. Oh, finally, something to talk about. Yeah. Something interesting of her work to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> something other than this damn AA video. <laughs> I got depressed as fuck. I finally got my first actress on the set, and this is what she made? Oh, my God. Let me have a Whatever. drink while I watch this. <laughs> it's funny how that movie did that to me. All right, serious question. Yeah. I sort of want a little drink for this. We can pause and get a little drink. What do you want a little thing of? Oh, God. It's going to be like a tenth of a shot. I have um, everything, but I have everything right now, I think. It has to be something sweet. I will vomit on your carpet unless it's something sweet. Hang on. Saki? Yes. I don't think I've ever had that. Okay. You know what it is? Uh-uh. Me neither. <laughs> We look at it, 100% alcohol. Oh, oh, I've seen this bottle before, though. Oh, cute. Uh, can I have one? Nope. <laughs> Damn. Looks that. like only you're taking a shot. <laughs> Just put them all on their own. And then I'll go next. That's, that's yes. I don't know if they put it on here. 14.8%. Oh, okay. But look how little I poured. I'm going to need a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's nothing. Do you you wanna... can smell it. I have something to say before mm. we, we um. Are we shooting this? I'm gonna. Oh wait, we can't cheer yet. You said that you have a hard time, um, pausing and celebrating. 
So what's something that you've accomplished that we can celebrate together? Gulp. <laughs> One thing? Lifts off 18, I don't care. I think that... What are you most proud of right now in this moment? <sighs> oh my god. Genuinely, this is gonna sound dumb. Genu it's not gonna sound dumb. Genuinely, since I sat down and wrote my bio, this morning <laughs> and submitted your form seven days late. <laughs> we can't cheers to you submitting the DSNSB guest application. <laughs> well, were you, pr did that help you sort of get your thoughts together for some other things? Like, was that, was that helpful? It helped me realize, oh, I've done things before and I'm like working hard. I'm like trying. Literally, because I wrote down, and again, I'm sure you'll post it somewhere to read that. I Can was I like, read it? Yes, it's it's long. That's okay. It's worth it. Let's celebrate this. Okay. All right. I won't stumble over this one. I might. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Olivia Tovar is a SAG eligible actress from Houston, Texas. Currently, she is attending the University of Texas at Austin and working on getting her BFA in acting and BS in radio, television, film. Olivia has been part of many projects in her time as an actress. Most recently, she appeared in Zach Bryan's music video, Nine Ball, also starring Matthew McConaughey, Ty Sheridan, and Scott Shepard. Olivia has also worked with stars like Robin Lively from Teen Witch and Cobra Kai, and Emily Calandrelli from Emily's Wonder Lab, Exploration, Outer Space. Additionally, Olivia got to work with one of her favorite directors, Richard Linklater from Boyhood and Before Sunrise, and a reading for Austin Film Society. During this, Olivia got to read for the lead in a movie in, in a movie in development and Link later, later described Olivia's performance as perfect for the role. She has also been nominated for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress at the Austin Spotlight Film Festival, <laughs> Festival wow. for her roles in the short films Ashes and Ghosts on the Dance Floor. Olivia has also booked over 15 commercial spots in her time in Austin with another shooting next week. Moving to Los Angeles soon, Olivia is so excited to continue her journey as an actress. Follow Olivia's acting journey on Instagram at Olivia Tovar underscore actor. So if you guys are still listening. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to all of that. Aww. Oh, she shot it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Wow, that was good. It's not as good as the thing. Give me another, said. you know what I mean? I know what you mean, but then no. you want to make your friend's party. I know. You well, can stay here drive. and play Smash Bros. <laughs> I, I, I bought some cigars since they left. We could... Shut up. As a total wine and more, feeling spontane spont oh. Oh. <laughs> spontaneous. And he, he has a podcast? I took one That's sip. crazy. I took one sip. And with a total wine and more. <laughs> It was the word Freak. spontane. <laughs> Girl! I mean, damn. Did you fill yours to the top? Yep. <laughs> I took a swig when you weren't looking. <laughs> Out of the <laughs> bottle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing's empty. I'll send you a picture of it if you want to buy some for your friends. Cigars? Fancy. No, oh. the, uh, the sake. Oh. That, Sorry. I bought that. This has been in my fridge since January of 2023. Aged. <laughs> <laughs> it's aged. Saki, aged one year. I think it it tasted pretty damn good. Tasted dusty. I'm just gonna <laughs> it tasted good. I thought it tasted great. It's been sitting next to ramen noodles. Love those ramen have noodles. not been in there for a year and a half. Let ha me just clarify <laughs> that those are really from the most recent Costco run. All right. Hashtag ad. We love ramen. Hashtag Costco sponsor this show. <gasps> mm. Get you that Costco sponsor. <laughs> I would love it. This home is brought to you by Costco. The fucking chairs, like <laughs> my personality, <laughs> it's like all brought by Costco. I have one more question for you. Yes. We have a new tradition in 2024 where I've been taking questions that I like from the podcast I listen to and asking them to my guests to see oh, how smart. you'll answer. Stealing. <laughs> Researching. Not being creative enough on your own. Yes. <laughs> and I don't remember what it is. <laughs> Hmm. I like this one. Oh, you do? I thought it was bad. What is what is the great <laughs> The question is, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
The question is, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you, freak? <laughs> How dare you come to my home? <laughs> what? I'm trying to get serious for this. It's not even serious. It's it's cute. What is the greatest gift that another human has given you? <gasps> this is my Emma Stone moment. Do you know that? Do you know that clip? Where they say, what's the greatest gift you've ever gotten? A homemade rocking chair. Andrew Garfield made her the homemade rocking chair. He's hot. <laughs> No, I'm not I allowed to have an know. opinion. Oh, I thought you were gonna. I thought she was judging me. It's like, do you want to know something? It's my taste. I can't mm. help it. <laughs> <laughs> me and my friend Shalom, literally today, went through TikTok after TikTok of Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield. Really? He's beautiful. He's well, a beautiful man. She's a beautiful woman. What were they in together? Spider Man. <laughs> the Amazing Spider Man. Yeah, that's where he looks the hottest too. So good in this mm. Spider Man costume. <laughs> It's so good. I love Andrew Garfield. I really do. I've never attacked someone in public, but if Andrew Garfield was watching, walking through the streets of Austin You'd in a Spider-Man him? costume, oh. I would do something. You'd jump him. I would do something. Me too. I'd invite him on the podcast. Oh, that'd I'd be just jump on his back. <laughs> <laughs> um, How tall is he? I think 5'10". Mm. <sighs> that might be wrong. I forget that this is a public platform. People can easily Google it and be like, wow, she's dumb. Yo, Ann Gar. I'm trying to think of how I'd say hi. Like what? <laughs> hey, Siri, how tall is Andrew Garfield? Did Andrew you drink Garfield the whole is bottle? five feet, ten inches. <gasps> wow! I'm his number one fan. I didn't know Siri got picked up on the mics. Like, y'all heard that. I'm not surprised I got it 100%. That was so many fun surprises at the same time. Wow. It's really not that big of a deal. I've studied him. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. You've tracked him? I've tr oh, I've tracked him since day one. I've been tracking him. Best gift I've ever received. Yes. I've received, first of all, I want to say this, I've received a lot of amazing gifts. But... In the vein of an Emma Stone moment, best guess I get. Did, did I have the whole th the whole bottle of sake? Um, in the vein of the Andrew, Emma. Oh, okay. Cut that. Cut all of that. In the vein of Emma Stone, um, the best gift that I ever received was this homemade lamp type thing. He had carved the block of wood and like carved the glass. And in the glass, he carved a rose, which is my middle name. And then he put, he was an engineer. He put the glass in the wood block. And so when you, he also stuck LED lights into the wood block. So when you turned it on, the rose would light up. And it was completely made from scratch from his hands. So like there was a lot of like imperfections in it. Like the circle with the rose in it was kind of like not a perfect circle. And the wood was like kind of off. And it was just like, it was like, oh my God, you spent hours on this gift. And like, that's an amazing feeling of just like, oh, you were like, it's not like you just like thought of me and oh, oh, grab something, which is also amazing. But it's like, you had this thought, you were like, I'm gonna do this. And then made this whole thing. And it's still, it's at my home. Um, Cause I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't bring it to college for some reason. I don't know why. Might have to go home and grab it, but best gift ever. Sounds like the 2024 version of Beauty and the Beast. Oh, a little light up lamp. Also sounds like he's not that good of an engineer if he spent hours <gasps> on it and there's still imperfections. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's that his name? That is crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm not telling you his damn name. <laughs> I want to say... <laughs> <laughs> I want to say specifically to you, suck it. I wanted to say Sorry. <laughs> I wanted to say I hate you. Um, no. <coughs> Imperfections, like things that a normal I'm, human... I'm sure it was on purpose because it looks clever or something. He That's why God made me bald. He's like, That's why? Yeah, he's like, we need some imperfections. And bad genes. <laughs> and Rogaine doesn't work. I'm going to believe the bad genes part. Hmm. But you got a beard, though. Awesome. Mm. Yeah, not everyone can do that. I can't. <laughs> it might be good. <laughs> <laughs> you with a beard. Hot. I know what I'm going to get you for your birthday. A taser and? A beard. Oh. Like a little. There is a one on Shark Tank where you you just like hang it over your ears. And they bought it? I don't remember if they got in. This was like season six or something. We're in 15 now. Oh, long time ago. Yeah. There's one season a year. 
So you can do the math. Not really. <laughs> well, Olivia Tovar, this has been so much fun. Aww. Thank you for coming on the show. What did you say your name was again? Um, middle name. M. It's going to be Mary. You said you, a little bit ago, like 18 minutes ago. You're like, my middle name is Monsoon Mary. It's Rose. Rose? Really? Yes. Why do I think the point of the whole story? Right. O R T, Ort. <laughs> Olivia. I love doing publicity. <laughs> Your this first ever awesome. public appearance was was I know, and David I'm being Saturday night dragged back. down. That's crazy. I but thought you were nice. You know what? Um, similar to J Law, you're very fun. Stop. You are. We don't need to compare me to J Law. That's gonna make me freak out. <laughs> I'm gonna have a freak out. I swear to God. You are a very fun person on your own. This was super fun. Thank you. I you had me in tears more than once. <laughs> no, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Because I was worried that we would turn on the camera. Hey, and I'm an actress. Don't know why I thought this, but I, I thought we would turn on the camera and I'd go, yes, it's nice to meet you. And it would just be like completely different from who I am. So I'm glad that this was such a comfortable. I'm glad you stayed yourself. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> the janky environment helps me just kind of stay at my roots. Y'all think it's fancy because you only see this wall. I'm telling but you over this. over there. And this is redacted. This is really nice. Don't tell people that I said that. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a very nice. It's all for Thad. <laughs> the dog. It's all. I just want. He he was dropped off in the middle of the street by some uncaring, unloving family. Uh. And he thought he had no home. And I was like, no, buddy. I will work my ass off giving you a home. And now look what you made for him. <laughs> now look what you've done. Blinky lights. What is it? His turn on the podcast. That's what I'm wondering. You know what would be, oh! So what if we yeah. actually put him in that chair and then we put like a human over there and <gasps> mic'd him up and we pretended like I was having a full- For an hour and a half? <laughs> I'd watch that. That's awesome. <laughs> it's an insanity. And you know what? I better get 50% royalties on that. Because okay. that was my idea, basically. Well, when Costco sponsors us, <laughs> I will send Shout you- Shout out to Post. You'll get a you'll get like three hundred rolls of toilet paper. That'll oh, be your Costco. Royalty. I love you. Shout out to Costco and Saki if they sell Saki. Oh God, please. I'll talk to my manager. Awesome. I'll talk to mine. All right, <laughs> Olivia Tovar. This has been fun. You, the audience, if you enjoyed this episode and laughing with us, and you spent the last hour and forty eight minutes with us, thank you. But we're gonna cut a, like a lot of shit out. So like an hour and <laughs> an hour with us. So like forty five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a twenty minute episode. <laughs> Just us laughing, and they have no context as to what, and then just making noises like, mm. <laughs> 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 that's right, that's it. It was more like that, yeah. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Bye, guys. Bye.